Yo, what up? My friends, Jay here, and we are back bringing you a gameplay verse. The number one player on the Xbox One head to head leaderboards, 40s and shorties. Good player. Um, I know him, he's a buddy. Um, we're playing in a tournament for 2 million coins, and we are both pretty familiar with how we play. And so it's going to be definitely a game on reads and adjustments. And as you see right there, we go up 7 nothing. And I know he knows that I just run man. So we're taking a different approach to this game. We're sending pressure for the most part. And we're just going to see how he goes right here. He's making good adjustments, dotting me left and right. Um, wow, he had everybody open. And he answers and scores in three plays. And so now we're back. And then right here, let's see what we got. We're rolling out. Didn't like the play. Oh, ooh, we get down just in time. Hit that slide button. And then here we're going to run to the outside. Um, I'm not a really good read. And on third and four, we check down to the drag. And we get the first down. So we're moving the ball here, moving the ball. Now we're, ooh, ooh, the coverage. I'm trying to think, what is he doing? Is he looking like he's running man? I think so. And then there, oh, it looked open. It really did. Luckily, he didn't get the pick. And then here, uh, we get punished. I knew I should have checked down to, um, Flat route, didn't know we're really getting punished. Here we're going to go to man. We're going to see if he can beat it. He's going to throw up an aggressive catch. And we stop the aggressive catch. Now we're back in our man-to-man. -man. He showed he could beat the cover too. So now we're back in man press. Just going to see if he can continue to make the proper reads. See what happens right here. There we're going to blow up the run in the backfield. And here, looks Woods rolling to the outside. Playmaker to the outside. And oh, what am I doing? User. And, uh, and he uh, runs up and makes uh, some yardage. And here, coming over the middle, the pressure is going to come in. We're just playing coverage, coverage, coverage. Still playing coverage, coverage, because he showed he, he ate up that cover too with the first. It was kind of the pressure is coming. I don't know. Oh, and he's running Patriots drag, the disrespect. <laughs> and there he's going to go to the sideline. We uh, make a shoe with string tackle. And here, back up, goes to the fade. Nope. Goes to the fade again. Nope. Three times? Three times. Goes to the, oh, he goes to the other fit, and he gets uh, one hell of an overthrow. And uh, he's going to go up 10-7 at halftime. So, and he gets ball, so we definitely need to get a stop here. If he scores a touchdown, we're probably in trouble. He gets an okay return. And now he's going to run the ball, and we're going to slow it down. And then here he's, we're both running tight slots there. He's going to hit the drag over the middle. Good play by him. I'm pretty sure I'm just sending the blitz, trying to make him fuck up. And then, ooh, we don't get the interception. Sean Taylor jumps it, though. And, yeah, I'm definitely just sending blitzes. And then the pressure comes in. We, the edge, he does come in. Third and ten. We go to man. And the other pressure comes in. Um, for the most part, I feel like I've kind of boxed him. I mean, I know he's scored a touchdown. He's moving the ball. But I'm really confident in my defense right now versus him. Here we're going to go. And we uh, go check down to the drag so now we're gonna have a third and five and go to the flats that's the worst possible animation we could ever get here fourth down uh ends up getting the speed corner out type thing we get the first now we're gonna run the ball and uh-oh oh, Le'Veon Bell breaks a tackle and uh-oh he could go yeah he's gone that's a touchdown so we're gonna take a 14-10 lead and at this point I think game's over I really do I don't get a sack right there and right here I know, I know, I thought he was going to throw that sp out at all. I didn't think he had the balls to throw that because I figured he'd use it. I can't believe it got open. <sighs> so now we're down three. And at this point, we're just like, all right, we're going to clock. We're going to make sure we're the last one to have the ball. And we're going to score last. And we're going we're gonna to switch it up. We're going to go into some running plays. Just, you know, cheese him with toss and FB dive and just see what happens. We know he has D for it, but you know we just want to keep him honest a little bit. And now uh, here we're gonna go to FB Dive, JJ Watt. We're just milking clock. Definitely, uh, whew, that was an FB Dive. That could have been bad. Oh my God! If I would have took that outside, it might have been a touchdown. But I didn't really want a touchdown this time. Uh, good D by him. Oh, Le'Veon! There's that Fock. I don't know. Le'Veon Bell and Fock. They're quite the duo. Yeah, he's running DB strike. Here we're going to go back to FB dive. We get a few yards. We get a few yards. As you can see, we're just running the clock. Just waiting. And then there, that's where we know we fucked up. So now we got third and 13. And we catch him in man. And we get the block. And we get to the outside. And we get to like the 25 yard line. So now we're going to go back to toss him. Dude. 
Brandon Marshall, you hold your block for five more seconds, I win the game. <laughs> and then there, oh, we're so close. We're so close. And uh, third and one, god damn it. So we kick the field goal and uh, we go to overtime. I prob, I thought about going for it, but I felt like my, he has 17 points on me, but I felt like my D has kind of, I felt, I feel like I have him locked. I feel like I have him in a box. I mean, I know he has 17 points, but he hasn't done it too impressively. And um, I basically decided I'm going to send, per since he's getting ball, I was hoping I was going to get ball anyways. And if he did get ball, I just decided I'm going to send pressure. I'm going to make you make reads. And uh, there he makes the, the appropriate read. Here, the, runs a screen. Am I able? Ooh, the blocker picks me up and he gets to the outside. And uh, good play, good play. Moving the ball. Here, still sending the pressure. He's, just, he's running the play that he beat me deep on the TD just every single time with a few other adjustments. And so we're just we're just running 4-3 under. We're sending the house. Pressures, the block sheds are good. We're just hopefully get, uh, we're able to jump the pass. If we're not, oh well. And here it runs it. We're over the middle. Doesn't come in. Got him rolling to the outside. Cornerback comes in. I'm not sure why he pump faked it. And there runs, tries to run a screen again. And uh, we stop it. Running the screen is probably a good thing because it's on my user. Oh, we're dropping frames. Ooh, sorry about this. And there he's moving the ball a little more. Uh, he's going to run the play action. Oh, we are dropping frames. I think it was because I was um, running out of memory. Here he rolls to the outside. Um, doesn't hang on to the ball. Oh, sorry about this. Look at the frame drops there. Oh, that could have been picked. And so he's going to take his uh, field goal. All oh, this frame droppage is horrible. At least it's like the last 30 seconds last minute of the video and then here we're on offense and we're ma you know we're making adjustments and you know we're, we're thinking we're gonna go deep here and then what does he give me what does he give me he's playing man I'm pretty sure ooh ooh nothing's open so we're gonna roll the outside oh I'm sorry about this frame droppage and then here on the second play I know it's man and I fuck up Boyo Candias Bras, all I do is upload losses because I suck. Sorry about the drop frames. Peace.